Hello YouTubers, this is Lance. Today I want to show you how to upgrade your version of Kodi on the Fire TV Stick. And this is pretty easy. There's some other videos out there that uh, show how to do this, but I'm going to show you uh, my way to do this, pretty much the same. But if you haven't seen this, this is a uh, good tutorial and a quick easy way. You don't have to use your computer. You don't have to use ADB Fire. Uh, you just use All you're using is this ES File Explorer on the TV stick you're going to download the version of Kodi and upgrade it straight from the TV stick if you don't have this you can go up to search and you're going to search for ES Explorer put space in there and there it is second on the list ES Explorer it'll open it up and it will let you install it I've already got mine installed I'm going to show you how to add this Kodi website to your favorites. When you first open this up, over on the uh, the top left there, you'll have the favorite bar, and you're going to drop that down and open it. You go to Add and select that. And the path in the window opens here. Click on that window, and it's going to give you the uh, keyboard here. You're going to put in the URL to the download page of Kodi. So we're going to put in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and it's Kodi dot TV forward slash download. From here you can hit uh, your uh, play pause button or go down to next. It's going to ask you to name it. I named mine Cody with all caps. You can name it whatever you want to. So I named it Cody like that and then you go down to next again or hit your play pause. I'm not going to add it again because I've already got it in my favorite list. Once you add it, it's going to put it down at the bottom of your favorites folder there so we'll go down past music and images down to the very bottom right there you see it it's Kodi so you click on Kodi it's going to take you to the download page over here in the right pane now to navigate this is a little little tricky when you first go right from there you can't really see where your cursor is but if you go down with your remote a couple times you'll see now over underneath the Windows logo on installer, it's highlighted. Now if you go right, you go over to the Apple installer. If you go right again, it's going to take you over to this uh, advertisement. So you want to go left, and it'll put you down underneath other devices. Go up one to the x86 on Android. Go over to the ARM, the ARM. When that's highlighted, you want to click on that. And I clicked on it. Come on. There it goes. That's going to download the uh, 58.99 meg. It's going to download it into your download folder. I'm going to show you after this how to get to that file. Almost done. Okay, from here, you have the option of opening the file. But I'm going to show you where it downloaded the file to. So I'm going to back out of that and go back over here to my left. 
to my favorite folders. I'm going to go back up to the top right there underneath add where the download link is. You click on that and I've downloaded this three or four times for examples. You can run any of these. They're all the same file. But you want to go right over to the file you downloaded and then click on it. It's going to open up the install. You click on install And then I'm going to go down to the, this is the new OS 5. So this is what this looks like when you're installing new files now. So you're going to install it. I've already updated, upgraded mine, so I'm not going to install it. But it'll go through, update Cody to the newest version. You're not going to lose any of your data, all of your favorites, everything that you have with your Cody will still be there once you install it. It will just be the newer version of Cody. So I'm going to back out of that for now. and go to Cody and show you I don't know if you uh, if you know this yet as well on the new OS uh, 5 on your apps if you go down to apps you can run Cody straight from here now it gives you your apps library so there's your file explorer I've got FTP droid installed and you go right there to Cody run Cody So now you don't have to, if you've made a, used an icon like the uh, the Disney icon and you overwrite the the icon file with the uh, with the icon of Cody, where you had that up on the top like you've had to do in the past, you don't have to do that anymore with this OS 5. So that's pretty handy as well. You don't have to mess with the change in that icon. But that's how you do it. Just wanted to show you a quick way to upgrade your version of Cody. You can see with my, this is the... Aeon MQ6 skin over on the top right you see that right now I'm running the uh, Isengard version so that's it uh, if you got any questions or comments post below thanks for watching later guys